Hi, I'm Matt McMurray with Campus Automotive, and today I have a tire that I'm super excited about, Yokohama Geolander XAT. Uh, this is another hybrid tire. It's a newer tire. Uh, competes directly with Nitto Ridge Grappler and um, Toyo RT. It slots in between Toyo's AT Geo 15 and their XMT. Um, and it's got some cool and unique features that are unique to this tire. And it's, it's just a great tire, I think. The main thing that they worked on when they started developing this tire is they wanted a quiet tire that had maximum traction capabilities, not quite a mud terrain or a maximum traction tire. So what they found was a lot of the road noise came actually from the air sweeping across the tread. So they redesigned the tread to alter these blocks in alternating sizes to reduce that wind noise moving across the tread face. And so by doing that, they, they significantly reduce the noise. So what they call it is five pitch block variation. And so what that means is these blocks, there are five of them in a row and they're all different sizes all the way across the tread of the tire. So that's a really unique feature that really helps. So this tire is actually a little bit quieter than the Nitto Ridge Grappler. They also used a new compound, which they call the HD2 compound. They use that compound to increase wet traction and snow traction, but also increase longevity and wear. So this tire, they put 45,000 mile tread wear warranty on this tire. Now, if you know me, you know that I think that tread wear warranty is a bunch of baloney and it's not worth much because it's kind of an arbitrary number. Um, but in any case, they're pretty confident with the tread life on this tire. Another cool feature on this tire is a three ply sidewall, which a lot of your manufacturers are going away from but it's essential on an off-road tire for strength, especially when you're in the rocks and in, and in uh, you know, heavy duty off-roading situations. So this three-ply sidewall construction, they, Yokohama calls it geo-shield construction. And the three-ply sidewall basically interacts with the, the two plies on top of the tread and to, to form a pretty solid carcass. So it's, it's uniform in its construction and it's super duper strong. So each one of these blocks in the center part of this tire are offset. But what that does is it allows you to have a bigger block so that you can have maximum traction off road, but also shaped in a way so that when you're going down the highway, it doesn't, it doesn't wear them out quickly. So you notice that the outer tread blocks on this tire alternate in size, but they're also big and meaty, and that helps with your, your mud traction and your traction off, off road in the rocks. But they go all, of, all the way down the side on both sides, and they connect to these sidewall lugs here, which helps to protect it against pinches against rocks and, and just gives you extra traction if you're aired down in the mud and things like that. This tire also has stone ejectors in between all of the tread blocks to keep those gravels from, from digging into that carcass of that tire and causing a flat tire. Yokohama calls one side Mesa and one side Summit. Not sure which one's called Summit and which one's Mesa, but you can see they have distinctly different styles on both sides. Now me personally, I like this style a little bit better. It looks a little more aggressive to me. Look good on the bigger wheels and bigger fitments um, on your heavy duty trucks like that. Gives it a little more visual hep to it. So I think that's the best looking side of the tire. So at the end of the day, I think this is a great tire and you should really consider it because everyone else is kind of running the Nittos and the Toyos. This looks a little bit different. It's got a little bit more style, um, priced a little bit less than those two tires. So I think this is a great alternative to them. I personally wouldn't mind running these tires at all. The last thing is anytime you have a hybrid tire or a mud terrain tire, you have to keep them on a rotation schedule. No more than 5,000 miles between rotations because if not, they'll, they'll have irregular wear and they'll start cupping and making a lot of noise. But if you keep them on a rotation schedule and keep your truck aligned, then you eliminate a lot of that. 
So let me know if you have any questions, comment below, hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Situations. Um, all right, we gotta cut for a second. Sure. Gotta cut that um out of there. They're gonna get me on that. It's all right. Two different style sidewalls. Yokohama calls one style Mesa and one 